Don Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. so happy. He's a bit different. Anyway, the marriage is impossible now. If a man was born an angel, maybe it's possible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, but you, more likely, your marriage is ruined. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then... I you doing, kid? Oh my God. And I realized, yeah. Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage. And... You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. And I think to myself, well, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings. Because that is what it is. So how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs in a controlled environment. I give him passion. What, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited mark. Last night, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. No fancy crap. Passion. Passion. Which you can take home. Oh, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, but a man. A savior. In a controlled environment, I reintroduce the man to a a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know. You did good back there, kid. Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi! Oh, my girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? There's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know, strong, Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific, terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. My people, we 
we take these issues very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio, you Mr. Who cut up my tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exa- Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're gonna look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria! Move your butt! Dumbra does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Of in a box, directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about Spank. Oh, God. I, don't know. I think Spank is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He once hit me so hard, my spleen fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best. I'm Mirai, so my favorite lady. Looking for some fun, a little so spank. Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here's your butt, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlantic Keys. Starting Thanks, to believe Chico. that guy about the floor. Listen, and enjoy. I'm left in Liberty City. They can hear my voice. Please call the show. Come on, right let's go check out this is SOS going out across the city. Let's right, go over to this one. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Lazo. Killer bees. Killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration not continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people are talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, and it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is turn them up, put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap. Exactly. All right, fine. We're going to here and up for using a phone, but you're you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Pretty city was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on. Three years old? Level's a liar. Level's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. You shut up. Stupid. Danny, Danny, Get your head in the No, it wasn't personal. Is your job affecting your health? Maybe Constantine was working late to know. There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. 
At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Roswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Roswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master... I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while, and you, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. Well, I better go. <laughs> I'll see you around, I hope. Oh, what are you talking about? Laszlo, clothes. Clothes, Laszlo. I hate him. I just hate him. <laughs> we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone-in station. But... Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. What about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the news? No, but look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo, you can be a figurehead for the least dangerous. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude, groovy, hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest growing US run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the US and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller, what's your name? Bob, Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in schools. Gums, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. Schools are breeding grounds for crime, ain't they? Well, I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. 
shut down the schools and you shut down the problem. No more dead teachers, oh. no more angry students. Well, but you don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot. But you know what? It costs even more. I mean, shoes, books. Here comes our little friend. Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I mean. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Ferrellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become a dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? He's seven and he's making mad to do 23,000 a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer. Sounds a little oppressive and even despotic. Exactly, but you hit the nail on the head that okay, time. Right now, I live at home, but pretty soon, like next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh, the big 4 0. It's, it's just time to go. Okay, did you have anything relevant? We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers too. you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey so is his together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift? All our units, don't want progress. Tired have to buy caution. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Vladlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through character. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Your 
spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That though a closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand, but it might as well mean open mind. I should get a win. Wish he can play home to his wife. Oh, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the Triads and Liberty once and for all. Eight Balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer, so if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight Ball says it's real sensitive, and the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart, so you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. Jerry's so well. You come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo? Because Very fine is. But she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if he is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is safe. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union. A blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Oh, I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me tonight. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced me. Hey, you want yourself, mister? And you, Janice. Why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? No, he's an idiot. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Anyway, I'm a little bit of a know-it-all, but very oh. pretty lady. This is the thing. The women they think in New Beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to New Beginning, she thinks, Senor Wonderful, all over again. And in the case, maybe she comes to work for me. And she gets a new beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. Nueve dos, nueve dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word. A travesty. I work miracles. Somebody call him You feel lucky? She's like a whole offense. We should take these Colombian bastards out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leon. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat.
Oh, Great, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, that's wrong. The women they think in New Beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to New Beginnings, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in your dream case, maybe she comes to work for me. And she gets a New Beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me Cinco, 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 Nueve, Dos. Yo, my man, Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know, with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives! Children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just get a of man from upstate. Get out of my studio. I saved your daddy. I saved your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Get a good vantage point, You're then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not another one. I think spanking kids is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I...
development of a group called Citizens Raging 